Hey guys, take a moment to video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up, turn on, and enable the senior mode for iPhone so that it's easier for someone that's elderly to be able to use it, as we'll see bigger icons, easier to navigate, and select certain apps that we want that senior person to be able to use. So let's get started. So first thing is, in order to use this feature, you need to be on iOS 17. So if you haven't updated your iPhone, simply go into your setting of your iPhone, then go to general software update and look for iOS 17 update. Go ahead and update your phone. After you have updated, simply go into your setting of your iPhone and then hop over to accessibility and then go all the way down here where it says assistive access. We'll click on that and now we have the option to set up assistive touch or also known as the senior mode or the elder person mode. So if you click on that option here, it's going to give us the option menu to set this access up, select which apps we want, and also customize it as well. So hit continue here. Now it's important to figure out which Apple ID account you're going to be using. If you're going to be using the one that's already signed in, or you can change it to a different one for the person you're setting it up. So I recommend, or Apple recommends, is using the one for the person dedicated for themselves, but of course you can also use yours. So I'll just hit continue here. And then now it gives the option for how you want the apps. You can have it in rows or grid, which is the default option. So we'll keep it in grid, hit continue. Now you can select the apps you want for the senior mode to be able to use. By default, they give you these options like calling, which you probably want. And then you kind of can select what option you want in terms of things for calls. So where do you want to receive calls from? You can select, leave it as all contacts that's everyone in the contact. If it's an unknown number, it will not come. You select anyone so they can get anyone's call, which again, would leave it up for any calls. And then to make calls, you can select a specific contact or all contact or go ahead and show one. And then you can show dialer pad if you want the dialer pad on and off. Already made one that on. In call options, a like keyboard and speaker, you can always turn that on. Hit continue and the call is on. Same with camera, if you want them to use the camera, you can use that. So access the photos, if you want them to have selfie access, you also want that video, video selfie, things like that. Messages, same exact thing, if you click on messages, again, messages from the contact for everyone, or simply certain person, and then tap to here, audio, and then other default one. And then you can go down the list here, as you can see here, we'll click on photos, right? If you want to include shared albums, you can have that with we'll continue. And then other third party apps that you might have downloaded if you want them to have access, things like maybe Facebook, right? If you want them to allow to use the camera, we'll use that. If you want Face ID to unlock, again, there's much more. Each app has its own access in terms of what access you want that app and the person to have. So we can kind of go ahead and select whatever options we want if we want the location. Don't allow, and don't allow. as you can see, each one has a different things, and you can kind of pretty much go down each option and kind of fill it in as you like. And after you're done, you just hit continue. And then here's the option of using it. As you can see here, a couple things happen here when you do use this feature, like emergency services. We trickle, triple click on the side button to access. They can access emergency services, notifications from app, privacy. We'll hit continue. And then for assistive access and unlocking the person using this is access will be able to unlock their iphone without a passcode so apparently there's no passcode we can change it if we want a passcode so they can exit they can't exit out of it so we'll hit continue as is or we can set up a new passcode so we'll set one up here just as an example so this way each time we want to get out and in we will need to use that passcode so, which is can be different from your phone's passcode and after that, if you want help, you can see here all of that. Or you can set up a recovery ID. So if you forgot that passcode in the future, you can use your Apple ID password to reset that. So we'll just hit not now for now and then exiting. So in order to exit, you click on this side button three times and then enter the passcode to turn off assistive touch. So hit continue. And now it's ready to use. And we can start using it right now or enter later. We'll start right now. Put in the passcode that we used to set it up. And as you can see here, it's currently entering the assistive access mode or the senior mode. And we should see the apps we only selected available and all the other apps will be limited just like that. As you can see here, 
right? If I lock the phone and I unlock it, tap open, right? Now, as you can see here, these are the only options available. Just like that, as you can see here, you can go back, make calls, messages, right? All of this option available. And now in order to exit out of this, again, triple click on that side button. So one, two, three. And then as you can see here, we have these options. We'll click on exit. And then we need to enter the passcode. And we're exiting out of this assistive access or the senior mode. And now we're back to the normal mode. And in order to use it next time again, you go into your settings again. Same thing, accessibility. Scroll all the way down where it says assistive access. And then if you want to enter the senior mode again, right, you can start it, enter the passcode, and it'll get you back in. So that's how you use assistive access mode on your iPhone or the senior mode. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.